Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Tara Lynn. I'm an empath and psychic and in today's Pick a Pile reading we're going to be focusing on what's blocking you. So we're going to be focusing on what's blocking your manifestations from coming into your life and what's blocking you from going out and doing the things you want to do. And so I have four different piles for you guys to choose from today. This is going to be a timeless message so whenever you're seeing this is when it's meant for you. So like always take time to pause the video and to meditate if you need to. I want to let you guys know that if you want to get more in-depth private readings I do offer them. You can either check out my Etsy shop or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. I have all the ways you can contact me in the description box down below. And if you guys are already a part of this family, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you here and also turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video, I post two videos a week. I do more pick a pile readings like this. I also do collective readings and zodiac readings. I also do unboxings of different tarot decks and I also do more educational videos to help you all with your spiritual journey. And I also have a Facebook group which is linked in the description box as well. In the group, I offer readings along with other readers I have in the group, but it's also a place where we can all talk, we can ask questions, and we can help one another out on our own spiritual journeys. And so with all those announcements out of the way, I'm gonna have the timestamps for each of the piles in the description box down below, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the readings with pile number one. So those of you who chose the Prism Tarot, let's go ahead and pull some cards and see if we can understand what's blocking you. So we just had two cards flip over. So we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these cards up to the side. I'm gonna continue to pull some more cards and do I feel like we have an overall story going on here? Okay, got a lot more jumpers again. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups, interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle just one last time. And again, you have two more jumpers. So something I wanna point out with you guys is you guys are getting jumpers in the set of two. So we have two, two, two. Um, so some of you guys, I feel like that could be an angel number that your guides are trying to communicate with you. And so we have the justice card and we have the two of swords. Um, and then the back of the deck energy is the three of swords. So let me take a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have the sacred destiny oracle cards here and I'm gonna pull some clarifier cards. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So we have Release for the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Now let's see what's going on with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, we got two more jumpers. We have Inner Peace and Pleasure. And now let's look and see what we have for the Justice card and the Two of Swords. And we have Thriving. So I just went ahead and I moved some of the cards around so it's easier for you guys to see them. So what I'm sensing for you guys, um, the fact that everything came out in pairs of two for the first tarot cards is really telling me that there is communication issues in your life. Um, number two is all about communication and working as a team and having duality. So I'm sensing that there is an issue when it comes to perspectives and the way that you are seeing things. And I feel like that's because you guys are dealing with all these challenges and you guys are this five of cups here you guys aren't finding your inner peace and you're not focusing on the good things you have I sense that you guys are becoming very overwhelmed with this nine of swords where you feel like everything's on you and I feel like you guys haven't been able to balance that and so I feel like the first thing for you guys that's blocking you is the fact that you are looking at things and you are kind of pitying yourself you guys are putting things against you where you are looking at an obstacle and you are making yourself feel so small and the thing is when it comes to overcoming 
overcoming challenges, the first step and the first action you take towards overcoming them is mentally. So if you're already looking at something and you've already accepted defeat, you are never gonna be able to win. You're never gonna be able to accomplish it. You're not gonna be able to overcome it. So if you're looking at everything in your life and focusing on the things that are going wrong and just putting your hands up in the air, that is gonna cause you to continue to fall. You're not gonna be able to pick yourself up if you don't accept the fact that you have to be the one to reach out and get this help. I sense that with this Ace of Cups, you guys are putting all your emotions into yourself and your emotions are overflowing. So I sense that you guys, because of all this inner turmoil that you have, you guys could have anxiety, you can have a lot of fears, you can be worrying a lot. And that's what you need to release. You guys are filling up your cup and you are collecting all these emotions, all these fears, all these doubts, all this nonsense that you need to pour out. You need to let it go and you need to fuel it when you um, work on things, when you move forward. Um, what I'm sensing from this is almost like collecting this water and using it to paint with watercolor. Um, like collecting all this emotion and fear and you need to use it to fuel you forward. Some of you guys, I feel like you really need to create with this energy in order for you to release it. I feel like that could be how you release it and that could be how you find your inner peace is by actually um, singing, painting, dancing, having fun, enjoying yourself, really connecting with your inner child. I also have other videos on how you can connect with your inner child if you want to watch those. I'll have them linked above. But I really sense that for you guys, um, there is definitely stuff that you are holding on to that you just need to say, you know what? I can't hold on to it. Like, yes, I can worry about it, but that is not doing me any good. Um, and you guys really need to let things go. Um, I feel like some of you guys, this could be a person you're holding on to where you're caring about their own issues more than they actually are and you can't do that anymore. You can't worry for everyone else. Everyone can worry for themselves. You don't need to do it for other people. I'm also sensing that you guys could be holding on to things that maybe someone wronged you. Maybe someone did something that really got under your skin and while that's unfair, while that sucks, you guys are focusing on the things that went wrong instead of focusing on all the good things that are going on in your life. So instead of focusing on what that person did and how they betrayed you or what they didn't do and it made you feel alone and isolated and like you couldn't rely on them, don't focus on that anymore. It's not doing you any good. You got to stop that. That's how you guys are blocking yourself is you guys are choosing to focus on these challenges. And I feel like as a result of this, because you are focusing on the negative in your life, you guys are only seeing the negative. And because you're only seeing the negative, it feeds the cycle. So it's this repeating cycle that's just continuing on and on when really you guys with this justice card this is talking about that karma that cycle with this two of swords here you guys need to decide to start thriving you need to decide to start living your best life that's really where this block is coming from is that it's all about your mentality on how you're perceiving things and what you're choosing to focus on because I feel like even though you have these challenges you are able to overcome them they're not as difficult as you guys are making them out to be but you really have to take time to look within yourself learn how you can release these things in order for you guys to move forward. Um, that really to me is the biggest thing in your way because while these challenges may be very real, there are solutions and you guys just aren't paying attention to them yet. Um, it's like you're burying your heads in the sand. Um, but I feel like if you took as much of this time um, and emotion as you did concerned about things and actually put it towards being driven and having a focus, having a goal, even if you don't have an exact goal, if you're just like, you know what? I'm sensing that I'm getting anxious. Instead of getting anxious, let me go on Google and see if I can start finding ways to overcome this. Even though I don't know where to start, at least I'm doing something that's leading to being more productive rather than just stressing about the situation. Um, and so rely on the tools that you have. If you can't look things up online, ask friends for advice, talk it out, really look at things and see if you can even make a checklist of the pros and the cons of the situation just to change your perspective. This isn't something that's going to be instantaneously. Blocks are never going to be something you heal magically one day. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort and you really have to retrain your brain to look at things and not jump right to the worry, not jump to the concern. Um, and so I feel like that's really what's blocking you guys right now, but you guys have an inner peace. You guys just have to reach it. And so you have the ability to overcome this. It just takes you guys holding yourself accountable, learning what's triggering you and learning when you can feel yourself becoming worried about a situation. And when you do start to 
feel that, do something to correct it. Do something to change your energy. Instead of giving in to that, do something to actually be productive. Like in this Eight of Pentacles, really move forward. And with the back of the deck being the Three of Swords, I really feel like this could be something where you are justified in feeling upset about the situation and feeling hurt. But you have to allow yourself to mourn the situation. You have to allow yourself to move on. Um, right now, I feel like you guys are being stuck in that energy and that's what's blocking you right now. You guys have to choose to be happy. Um, and so this isn't going to be something where it's magically going to happen for you. You guys have to keep making the choice with this two of swords. And that's where this justice card comes in, where you guys have to break the cycle. You guys have to really decide what you're doing with your life. And that's where you guys are going to choose to thrive. You guys are going to choose to be in control of your life. Um, and that's really how you guys are going to get past this mental block. Um, because I feel like once you get past this mental block, then even when you are facing these challenges, they're not going to overwhelm you the same way they are now. Right now, they feel so intense and they feel so intimidating because you guys don't have a way to overcome them. You don't see a way out. You don't see a solution. But I feel like this is a promise from spirit that there are solutions. You guys just aren't aware of them yet. Um, and so I really feel like when you accept that you need to go with the flow of things and you need to adapt with things and you can't control things perfectly, they're never going to go your way 100% of the time. But once you realize that you are the one who still gets to decide how you feel about a situation and how you get to control yourself and the way you react to things, I feel like that's going to allow you to start learning how to bring balance into your life, really learning how to bring this two energy into your life where you guys are going to be able to raise your vibration. Um, I also feel like that you can communicate with your spirit guides. I feel like if you ask them to start seeing signs, they're going to send them to you. Um, they could be sending you things in pairs of two again, or they could be sending you the angel number number 222. And so really just pay attention to the signs that are going on around you. And another thing Spirit wanted me to point out is if we look at this five of cups, the three cups are spilt, the two cups are the one standing. So I really feel like there's an energy where there's going to be like two things coming into your life that you need to focus on that are going to be good for you, that are actually going to allow you to heal and overcome this. But you guys need to be the one to actually look for these signs, look for the sign of number two, and that's really going to help you. Um, I really sense that you're spirit guides are around you. They're protecting you and spirit isn't going to leave you hanging. You guys just have to be willing to accept the help that spirit is trying to give you. Um, and so I really feel like once you guys just start looking at the glasses half full instead of half empty and find your inner peace and find your pleasures and really choose to release this negativity, I feel like you guys are going to open yourself up to so many more manifestations and so many more blessings in your life. Um, and so really I feel like your biggest block right now is your own head and really just start taking baby steps to change the way you think about things, change the way that you are always trying to pick at things, change the way that you are viewing things, and instead of picking things apart, see if you can find ways to build things up and hype things up and give yourself something to be passionate about. Instead of always being scared about what's yet to come, start embracing what's next to come. I really feel like just slowly changing your mindset is really going to open up a whole bunch of different opportunities for you. So I really hope that this message helps you out. If you guys have any more questions or you want some more advice, please feel free to join my Facebook group. I would love to help you guys out. And if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this. If you guys aren't already, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of this family and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out when I post my next video. I'm sending you all so much love and light in your own spiritual journeys and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye. So all of you who chose pile number two with the wizard's tarot, let's see what's blocking you right now. first card we have is the Ace of Wands. I'm going to pull some more cards and see if you can get an overall message. We have the Five of Pentacles. Just got two jumpers. We have the Devil. We have the Five of Swords. see if we can get one last message. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And the back of the deck energy is the Seven of Wands.
So I just moved these cards so hopefully it's easier for you guys to see them. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Devil, Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Knight of Cups. So what I'm sensing for this is what's blocking your manifestation. There seems to be external influences in your life that's blocking you. Um, I sense some of you guys, um, you are not hanging out with the best people. Um, I sense some of you guys, this could be family, this could be friends, this could be a relationship. Um, I feel some of you guys, you could be in a love situation where someone's not being true, someone's being dishonest, not loyal. Um, they are stepping out of the relationship. But I sense that some of you guys, you're blocked because you have to leave someone and you're refusing to do so. Um, I sense like you keep getting signs like this is a red flag, this is not meant for you, you're going down the wrong path and you're being stubborn with this Ace of Wands. Um, I sense that there are things going on around you that is only going to cause you pain, it's only going to cause issues and conflict in your life. Um, I sense that you guys are dealing with a lot of immature people and I think you guys are dealing with very manipulating people. I sense that you could be dealing with narcissists um, and I sense that you are not really paying attention to the messages that you have in your life. Um, I sense that you guys are blocked because you are trying to see the best in people and you're trying to see the best in a situation, but you're confusing looking for hope with ignoring your intuition. Um, because yes, it's best to look for hope in everything. It's best to look for the silver lining. But when something just feels wrong or when something is truly not changing, when you are seeing that someone's actions are not lining up with what they are saying, believing the best in them or in the situation, it's just naive. It's not actually helping you. It's going to hinder you. I feel like you guys keep giving and giving and giving all your energy and you're going to be burnt out. Um, I feel like with this devil card, it's like you guys are giving more than you can. Um, I feel like some of you guys, you could be a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. And so you are really trying to give to people. You are really trying to help people out, but they're only going to be able to take advantage of you. Um, I really sense that the people in your life, they try and offer you things, but it's false promises. It's not true because you have this five of swords here where everything ends up where you getting hurt. Um, and so I feel like you guys are blocked right now because you're not seeing the truth of a situation. You're being blind to something. Um, and I feel like you're going to have to walk away from it. I feel like the only way to truly wake up to it is to realize you can't give to it anymore. Um, I feel like you guys are going to have to start protecting yourself because this ace of wands, you guys have all this passion, you have all this energy, but this person or situation is draining you right now. But you have the ability to change that. You have the ability to not be blocked. You have the ability to take control of your life again. You just have to wake up to this. And so I really get the sense like you need to start saying no to people. I feel like you're blocked because you always say yes. And I feel like you run from good people. I feel like when it comes to people in your life who are able to manipulate you, you don't realize they're manipulating you. And so you give to them. And then it makes you jaded when you realize how untruthful they were that you don't want to help anyone else and then you meet good people and you have this skeptic approach with them where you're always looking for the worst in them. It's almost like you guys are blocked because you're either too trusting or you're not trusting at all. And so I really sense like the way that you break this habit is by actually listening to your intuition. Um, I sense you guys know what your intuition feels like, you just doubt it. Um, and I sense that you do this because people have gotten in your head and they told you that you're being crazy or you're wrong or you're silly. and you're not, you guys were right, but you didn't listen to it. Um, and I also feel like some of you guys, you might feel like you're a self-sabotager. Um, and so you always justify things by saying, no, I don't want to run from this because it's just me self-sabotaging. And what Spirit's trying to say is you're not self-sabotaging by paying attention to patterns and looking at people's behavior, looking at the behavior and the trend of the situation and making a calculated estimate of where it's going to end up. What self-sabotaging really is, is when everything's going good, everything's going perfect, there's no reason to assume anything's going to go wrong and you purposely ruin something for yourself. You looking at things and evaluating them and saying this doesn't feel right or this isn't adding up or that doesn't make sense and saying you know what I'm taking myself out of this situation so I don't end up hurt. That's not self-sabotage. Um, and also there's a way to remove yourself from a situation where you're not sabotaging yourself. Sabotage means you destroy it where there's no getting back, where there's no return. You walking away 
if there is no return, it means that that person is putting up a wall, they are burning that bridge, and that means that they were probably only using you. When you set up healthy boundaries with people in your life who actually appreciate you and care about your well-being, they're not gonna get upset with you. Um, they're going to understand. So if you're protecting yourself and someone doesn't like the fact that you're protecting yourself, then you need to keep on walking away from them. You need to run away because they are not someone who's good for you. And so I feel like you guys are blocked because you've let people get in your head and now you're all confused. But I feel like your intuition is true. Your intuition is guiding you. You just got to trust yourself. I feel like once you start trusting yourself, you start paying attention to this and you start protecting yourself, you're going to be okay. Right now you're blocked because you're still dealing with this devil. You're still dealing with this person who's being untrue, who isn't helping you, who's hurting you. Um, and so I sense that you guys actually need to start taking the proper precautions in your life to watch your own back, to pay attention and actually start collecting data and really having evidence to prove to yourself that you're not crazy, that you're not being irrational. You guys are correct with what you're feeling and your feelings are valid. You just need to do something with those feelings. You can't keep them pent up. You can't just say, oh yeah, this seems like a very sketchy situation. This seems like a red flag and then not continue to do anything about it because that's not going to get you anywhere. You're still going to be blocked because the metaphor spirit trying to tell me is it's like you guys are trapped in a box. So if you're trapped in a box and all you realize is I'm trapped in a box, that's not going to do you any good. But if you realize, hey, I'm trapped in a box and this is how I get out of it, now you have action. Now you have something to do to actually get yourself away from the situation. So for you guys, your block isn't addressing what the block is. It's about actually doing something with this message. Because if you hear this and you ignore it, you're still gonna be blocked. The block only is removed once you do something about it. When you become this five of pentacles and you find shelter, you go looking for things where you're no longer out in the cold anymore. Um, and so I I definitely feel like you guys are blocked because you have so many things you have to wake up to and you really have to pay attention to them. And I feel like that's why the back of the deck energy is the seven of wands because you guys are on the defense right now. And so even if you don't know it, you're blocked because you were trying to protect yourself, but you're not protecting yourself. And so what you really need to start doing is actually taking accountability and actually addressing things and paying attention to them. And I feel like once you do that, you're going to have this ace of wands and you're going to be able to actually bring things into your life because now when they come into your life, you're not giving that energy to other people. Right now, people are using Using you and it's draining you but once you start giving that energy to yourself and taking back your energy and protecting yourself you're gonna be able to build yourself up you're gonna be able to build up your confidence you're gonna be able to build the manifestations you want and accomplish what you want but right now you can't do it because you can't juggle everything at once and so you guys really need to start to pay attention to your intuition more in order to get unblocked really listen to your intuition get away from the situation and once you do that once you protect yourself I feel like things are gonna be ten times easier for you. So I really hope this message resonates for you guys and I really hope that you guys take care of yourself. I'm sending you guys so much love and light in your own spiritual journeys. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you guys a part of this family and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video. I can't wait to see you all then. Have a good one. Bye. So those of you who chose the light Sears deck, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling your cards and see what is blocking you. We have the King of Wands. I'm gonna see if I can get some more messages. So we just got these three jumpers. So we have the Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. And we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these Sacred Destiny Oracle cards and pull some clarifiers. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the two of pentacles. So we have relaxation. I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We have success. And then for the Two of Cups, we have potential. 
And the back of the deck for the Light Sears deck is the Star card. So I just bought the cards so you could see them better. So we have the King of Wands, Two of Pentacles with Relaxation, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles with Success, and Two of Cups with Potential. So with this King of Wands, I'm sort of getting the storyline of the Lion King, where I feel like you guys are blocked because you don't feel like you're good enough. You don't feel like you can live up to someone's expectations. Um, I really sense that there's a lack of balance in your life, and I think that has to do with relaxation. I feel like you guys have a lot of stress, and you put a lot of burdens on yourself, and you don't take time to rest. You guys don't really take time to take care of yourself, and so that's blocking you. And with this Queen of Swords, I sense you have the ability to isolate yourself. Um, I sense you have the ability to kind of run away from things, and you don't really deal with them. And so I feel like you guys are blocked right now because you're never allowing yourself to be ready for an opportunity because I think you're not saying yes to enough opportunities. And I think when people offer things to you, you turn it down. And I feel like you guys have the potential for good things to come into your life and you have the potential for success, but you guys have to start saying yes to opportunities. I really sense that you guys are blocked right now because you guys are so stuck in your own head and you aren't taking the right action to do things that you actually need to do. Um, you guys are so stuck on doing what you feel you have to do, but you're not doing what spirit is actually guiding you to. You're not actually listening to the universe. Um, I sense in you guys, you are blocked when it comes to actually manifesting love and money into your life and that's because you have the potential potential for all these things, but you don't allow yourself to actually go out and to get them. Um, there's not a balance in your life. I also sense that you guys are blocked because when you're focused on something, you're focused in on that and accomplishing that goal and everything else in your life falls to the wayside. And so I feel like it's very difficult for you guys to focus on different things in your life and to multitask. I feel like you guys are blocked because you are so stuck on doing one thing and you get like tunnel vision when it comes to it. Um, and so I feel like you guys need to break out of that where you allow yourself to be more adaptable and to do things at a slower pace and really do them slower but do more things at once rather than trying to rush something and get it done and get it over with because you feel like you put this burden on yourself. Um, I'm sensing your biggest block too is when it comes to time management. I feel like you're not good with time management because it stresses you out. I feel like you guys don't do good with deadlines because you feel like you're not going to make it perfect enough. I feel like you guys deal with perfectionism and so what I'm being told for you guys that spirit wants you to do is to start doing things at your own speed. Do things that you feel comfortable with. This way you don't feel this burden, you don't feel this pressure where you end up shutting down. Um, I feel like you guys need to focus on how to bring balance into your life and how to take time to rest. And so something I want to point out too, this girl, she fell asleep while she's trying to sew this heart, while she's trying to make this. And so what you guys need to know is sometimes you don't have to do everything at once and you don't always have to finish something and have it be perfect before you put it down for a little bit. You can do things and feel really good about it and just do it because it's fun. Do something that you enjoy, but it doesn't mean it has to be perfect. Things don't always have to be complete. They don't have to be done. Sometimes working towards something is better than trying to make it be perfect. Um, and so I really sense that you guys are blocked because you guys are trying to do too much and you don't need to. Like I feel like spirit's looking at you like it's okay. This pressure is all in your head. You can relax. You can come back down to earth. You guys are still going to have success. Um, I feel like you guys put all this pressure on yourself because you were so attached to success and that's actually blocking you. Let go of success. You guys are going to manifest it, but you need to focus on relaxing. You guys need to focus on yourself, bringing balance, actually getting rest, taking care of yourself. Um, I feel like you guys haven't been taking care of yourself. And so really the main message I'm getting for you guys is that you're blocked because you're so focused on your ambitions and your goals that it's actually stifling you, that it's actually holding you back. And so instead of focusing on what you want, focus on what you need to do to be more grounded, to focus on the day to day, don't focus on the long term. Just enjoy yourself more, start enjoying your life because I feel like you're blocked because you're not actually enjoying your life. And the phrase I'm hearing that Spirit wants me to share is that a watched pot is never going to boil. And so if you guys keep focused on this success, if you guys keep focusing on this end goal and you keep staring at it, it's never going to happen because you're too fixated on it. Walk away, it's okay, take a break, you can breathe 
breathe. You deserve to have a rest and just start taking care of yourself. Start bringing balance into your life and realize you can do multiple things at once. You don't have to be the best all the time. You don't have to be the most perfect. You can do things in a way that you enjoy and that's fun for you. And once you do that, once you take this pressure off yourself, I feel things are going to be a lot easier for you. And also don't feel that you have to be perfect where you can't break down. Um, I feel like you really need to stop isolating yourself and start relying on the people around you. Start talking with them. Start actually relying on them for support. This way you take that pressure off yourself because I feel like you have so much pressure on yourself and it's not doing you any good. You really need to heal that. You need to focus on ways to relax and how to breathe, how to take care of yourself and really just do what's best for you even if it might not help you accomplish your goals because when you start enjoying your life then those long-term goals aren't going to matter as much because you can reach them even though you're changing up your approach to them and so really just take time for yourself and really take care of yourself is really what I hear for you guys because right now you're blocked because you're not actually taking care of what you need to you're focused on what you want but you're not focused on what you need um, and so really just start sleeping more even would help with drinking more water really doing little things that's going to help you feel better and feel more efficient and actually help you be a better version of yourself even if it doesn't seem like it's productive um, and so really just start using a support system relying on people in your life taking the pressure off yourself and really just enjoying your life and that's really gonna help you remove these blocks from your life and so I really hope that you guys do start taking care of yourself because you deserve to enjoy your life you deserve to have a break and you really deserve to take this pressure off of you because I feel like you have this chip on your shoulder and it's not doing you any good it's only holding you back and I feel like you are holding on to it because you think that this is helping you but it's not spirit wants you to know that so really just take time for yourself I'm sending you guys so much love and light on your own spiritual journeys and if you guys did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this message don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that phone notification so you see when I post my next video and I can't wait to see you in my next video have a good one bye so those of you who picked pile number four with the bad bitches tarot I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling your cards to see how you guys are being blocked right now um, this deck is a little bit more difficult to shuffle so it might take me a little bit longer than the other piles did to shuffle but we're gonna and with that being said I just got some jumpers so let's see what we have so we have the two of swords reversed and we have the moon card let's see what other messages we get but yeah, if you guys saw my review on this deck, it is a little bit harder to shuffle. I'll have it linked in the cards, um, but definitely the overhand shuffle is easier than the ripple shuffle with this. So we have the Magician and the Five of Cups. Let's see if we can get some more cards. So we have the Eight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Sun. So I just moved the cards so you guys can see them a bit better. So we have the Two of Swords, Reverse, the Moon, the Magician, Five of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Sun. So we definitely have a lot of Major Arcana here. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that we have a lot of the color black pointing out here. Um, and so to me, I sense that your black could be um, protection in your life because black to me is typically a color of protection. Um, I feel like you guys might not be protecting yourselves enough. Um, I feel like you might be... Um, overly trusting on the wrong people I sense your guard may be down and I sense that you could have people in your life who are purposely manipulating you and the two of swords is reversed which indicates to me that you are being indecisive in your life and you are blocked because you are not making a choice there's something that you have to do that you have not yet done I sense that there's an energy with this eight of wands where you guys are trying to make the best out of a situation but I feel like on the inside you guys are very upset by it I feel like you're very hurt by it and I feel like you're blocked because I feel like there's almost this mask that you have on where you are being fake in your life where you are not being authentic to yourself you are trying to overlook your own feelings for the sake of someone else um, I feel like you guys are trying to make the peace um, and you really can't do that anymore because with this moon card it's like you're hiding who you are and your inner self is this wolf who's crying out um, I sense you really have to fully express yourselves um, some of you guys I feel like there might be some sort of fight that is going to happen in your life because I feel like you're gonna have to say something and I feel like people in your life may not love it they might not support it but I feel like ultimately it's about your happiness and I feel like you guys are struggling with making the choice and what to do and I think right now your throat chakra is blocked but also your heart chakra is blocked because I definitely see a lot of green here so I think your heart chakra is blocked because 
you guys aren't able to say what you really want to say. It's like you can't do what you want to do. You can't express yourself fully. Um, and that's where that Two of Swords reverse comes into play. Um, and I sense some of you guys, you're going to have to be this Five of Cups. In order to release this block, you're going to have to knock down some cups, but have these two cups here that are going to pick you up. Um, I sense that you're going to have to really become the magician of your own life because you have everything you need. You have all your resources here, but you're not utilizing them. You're blocked because you have what you need, but yet you're not doing anything with it. You're not using the things you have. And this hermit here is telling me that you're blocked because you're going into yourself. You're isolating. Um, you are looking inwards. And the sun here is saying that you are stuck because you have the sun illuminating yourself because you have the moon and the sun so you have this duality and they're at odds with one another um, and so I sense that you have this internal issue going on and because you have this internal issue going on it's creating unbalance in your external life because I feel like you're facing this internal issue because of these external factors um, and so I sense that there's a lack of balance in your life and that is blocking you and the thing is you can't really control these outside influences but you can control yourself and right now you are controlling yourself to make yourself suffer for the sake of others um, and so I sense that that is going to be something that burns you out I feel like the only way to overcome it is to deal with the issues and the conflict that you're gonna deal with when you fully express yourself but at least you're gonna be happy at least you're not gonna be suffering anymore um, and so I really feel like the way that you guys are blocked right now is just because you're not being true to yourself um, you're betraying yourself and I feel like you guys really need to let go of others expectations let go of other standards and focus on your own standards and how you're actually gonna be happy because yeah you might be making these other people feel better about themselves or feel like what they're doing is right and you aren't standing up for for yourself you're just going with the flow of what they want to say but you have to sacrifice your own happiness and that's not fair to you and so if it means that you have to stand up for yourself in order to be happy and you have to make them uncomfortable then so be it because right now you're blocking yourself for the sake of others and so what I'm hearing from spirit is that you have the ability to teach others to grow and to evolve because right now you are stifling yourself for the sake of others for their feelings when really now this is your turn to turn around to them and test them see if they're gonna have your back and allow you to grow and allow you to do what you need to do to be happy with yourself and allow you to actually be happy with your own life even if it makes them uncomfortable or are they gonna turn around and not care about your feelings are they gonna continue to have a conflict with you because they don't agree with what you're doing with your life because if that's the case then you are suffering for the sake of someone who wouldn't do things for you who won't have your back and that's where that lack of protection is going on because you are doing things for others that they wouldn't do the same for you and so you need to match people's energy and so I feel like right now you're blocked because of fears and concerns about how others are going to view you but really you need to let that all go because it only matters how you view yourself um, and so I really sense that right now it's like you guys are blocked because you're stuck making this choice and spirit is telling you don't focus on the pros and the cons of the choice in regards to society in regards to others focus on this choice on how you're gonna feel are you gonna feel happy with this choice and not because of the reaction from others but with yourself are you gonna be able to sleep at night and feel authentic or are you still gonna feel like you have this mask on and even when we look at this five of cups her veil is on the side where these cups are spilt the other side doesn't have a mask so really that's what's going on here you need to express yourselves fully if there's something you want to do that's gonna make you happy and it's not gonna hurt others besides maybe their egos do it because people are always gonna be caught up with their own egos until they decide to learn and to grow and to evolve and level up you guys are leveling up you guys are stepping away from who you were and who others want you to be and you're becoming who you truly are and so you are raising your vibration and so if others aren't gonna raise their vibration then you don't need them in your life you can find people to bring into your life who are going to raise their vibration who are going to be with you who are going to support you and love you and take care of you and if someone is truly meant to be in your life then they will see what you are doing see that it's for your best interest and actually support you actually allow you to grow even if they don't fully understand what you're doing they're going to have your back and so I feel like this is really a test for you to see who's true in your life and who's not true but really this block that's on your life right now 
now that's causing issues is because you are holding yourself back. You are hiding yourself. You are not doing what you want to do and you know it deep down. And so you really need to start trusting your intuition and paying attention to yourself and your own happiness and how you feel and actually do things that make you happy, that make you excited, that allow you to fully express yourself where you don't have this happiness mask on. You actually are happy. And so that's really what's blocking you guys right now that you need to change. So I really hope that this resonates for you guys. If it did, please let me know in the YouTube comments down below. If you guys did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this message. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you guys a part of this family. Also turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video. I'm sending you all so much love and light in your own spiritual journeys and I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.